choose whoever goes first. I think should we're should be Dan. I, I think we're going to return the game. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch! No! No! Okay, do that! No! Oh! 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 <sighs> I'm the returning champion, and I'm, I'm going to win again this year. That's not an issue. My only worry is that at some point in the bracket, whether it's the first round or the last round, I look across the replay room and I see Joe Juba there, and so I can prove again that I'm better than him at absolutely everything. I beat him at intellectual pursuits and trivia games. I beat him at athletic pursuits in, uh, on the basketball court, hunting games, fighting games. Everything I've ever done against Joe Juba, I've won. I've done things in my life that, Joe, you couldn't dream of doing in your sad, pathetic little Joe Juba existence. I've set world records. I've, uh, you know, I've written a novel. Things that Joe Juba could so never... Published. Things that Joe Juba could never accomplish. He doesn't have the gumption or the skill. So I will beat him again. I will beat everyone else here. And I'm going to play Jurassic Park Trespasser. It is another PC game from 1998, which I did last year with Half-Life. This is a bad one. So this will be a terrible game starring Mini Driver and awful physics. And uh, it sounds like we've got it up and running when I win. So I look forward to playing the entirety of Jurassic Park Trespasser. I don't believe that I need to respond in force to all of the chest puffing and bravado from uh, Dan Reichert. I, I think everyone sort of sees what he's made of. So with that being said, the game that I've chosen is Bully on PS2. It's a fantastic open world game from Rockstar. It's got a lot of hilarious mischief. You give wedgies, stuff people in garbage cans, give them swirlies. There's in fact, I mean, that's really the stuff I like about that game. Uh, and what you should do to Dan. That's what I'm fighting for on uh, this Super Replay Showdown and to destroy Dan, because he is the worst. <laughs> you're here. Actually, you're coming nuts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wildly flailing and I hit you right in the nuts. My, my lower back hurts. <laughs> Hello, uh, I'm, I'm Kyle. <laughs> Hi, Kyle. Uh, I'm gonna put some money on Dan to win again, probably. Nothing against you, Joe. You're a fantastic oh, person. Shut but up. I, think, I think Dan's probably gonna win again. He's very, he's very good at video games. Um, I my pick this year is a Game Boy Advance game called Drill Dozer, which I really loved when I when it came out. I played the crap out of it. I 100% completed that game, and I kind of wonder if it is as good as I remember. It's one of the few games from the Pokemon team that isn't a Pokemon game, and it's really good. And I want to play the whole thing again. Thank you very much. <laughs> it is a good game. All right. Uh, two of my favorite games last year were Mass Effect and Walking Dead. And I've been, I wrote a feature piece in the magazine recently on storytelling, so I've been thinking about that a lot. Uh, Heavy Rain was one of the games that really kind of set the standard for, for storytelling as well. So I kind of want to go back. Uh, I want to go all the way back to uh, Indigo Prophecy, uh, yeah. the game that kind of started paving that, that path. David Cage, Quantic Dream. It's a paranormal thriller. Hiding underwear um, sim. I think it'd be a great super replay choice, so that's going to be the game I'm going to be fighting for. Did you finish that when it first came out? Oh, yeah. Yep. I have. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know it gets a little weird, weird at the end. It we, certainly has an ending. <laughs> yeah, we are. We, if we, if we no that, boundaries. Like, the ending is going to be. We'll stack right up there with Overblood and, <laughs> and all that. Exactly. Overblood is, is a comparison Joe's drawing to this game, so I think it's a perfect fit for uh, Super Replay. Nice. I think Kim should go next to her plan on that. I originally was going to do Indigo Prophecy, and I was informed I could not. I was waiting to see who it was who picked it, but... I looked around the vault forever and I couldn't figure out what to play just because I wanted to do RPGs and they don't fit into the replay time frame we have. But I came across a game called Kudelka, which, Woo! yeah, the Shadow Hearts series is a spiritual successor to that game. So it's kind of where it started more when the series was a lot more horror vested. As it went on, it became really goofy, the Shadow Hearts series, but I kind of just wanted to see where it got its bearings and uh, it can be completed in 15 hours. That's what I'm picking. Cool. That's what I'm fighting for. <laughs> this is my first time in this 
uh, tournament, and I can already tell it's really stupid. <laughs> but I decided to join it just in hopes of beating Dan, just so that he loses and yeah. gets kicked out of it. The hero we need. The game that I chose is the original Ninja Gaiden. Uh, yes. Oh, wow. I was gonna oh, choose that. Oh, I, uh, nice. I hope you win. I have yeah. some. <laughs> I have some forever. good memories of playing it at my friend's house when I was a kid, and I never really beat it. But I'll probably lose anyway, so it won't matter. Uh, Ninja Jeff, no, that's not the right attitude. I'm definitely gonna win this tournament, and then I'm gonna beat Ninja Guy. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then I'll become president. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. All right. So follow up that uh, that doozy with an even better game. Uh, <laughs> back before replay, when we just had uh, mostly the print magazine, we had a, cl a classic review section. And in this section, I played a lot of uh, crazy vault diving games. But the one that sticks with me the most is Cliffhanger for Sega CD. <laughs> Not only is it a brawler with Sylvester Stallone, one of the toughest guys in the world. <laughs> uh, Sega CD version also has a snowboarding section uh, with some of the worst graphics I've ever seen and, <laughs> and gameplay to boot. You swore so much when you played that. Yeah, that might have been the, the first uh, crazy swearing tirade I had when I was playing it. Like five minutes of nonstop <laughs> swearing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the most frustrating thing. So <laughs> this could be the longest super replay ever. But uh, that's my choice. All right. I was robbed based on some ridiculous technicality <laughs> last year. With cut his mic, cut his yeah. mic. So Dan Reichert has an asterisk next to his name for last year's competition. He refuses to acknowledge it. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, 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 this oh. Anyway, Bomberman is BS. But this year... I'm mean, turning over a new leaf. I'm going to go into this with a completely positive attitude. My game is Chibi Robo for the GameCube, one of my favorite GameCube games. You get to play a small person, which I can identify with, and you get to clean things up, which I have absolutely no idea what that's like. And I will probably not win, but I can guarantee that if I do lose, I'll be extraordinarily angry, and I will sulk and pout for the remainder of the tournament. So <laughs> look forward to that. Thanks. Yeah, Pokemon, well, so as the person who almost won last year, uh, I should win this year. That's <laughs> how so that should work, right? Because, yeah, so, thank you. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was robbed by Pokemon Snap. I'm Reed, feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, yeah, right, get, ready, get ready, man. This is not like this is We're going to throw a couple at him. Throw a couple ah! at him. Yes! Keep oh, throwing! No, no, no! Keep throwing! Keep throwing! Keep throwing. Keep throwing. No, keep throwing. Don't take photos! No, what are you doing? Get down! Oh. Hey, in which, you know, I was feeling sick that day, and uh, I forgot one of my thumbs at home, so I just didn't, <laughs> I wasn't playing at my full game. So this year, this year it's on, Dan. Um, I hope I win, and yeah. And actually, I should probably say what game I'm going to play. <laughs> um, I'm going to play, I've been watching a lot of Double Fine Adventure, and so get me into like adventure games and I'd really like to go back and play one of the ones I've never played, Grim Fandangle. Grim Fandango. <laughs> it's just a game that just dangles right off the tongue. So Grim Fandango. Here we go. I don't really know why I chose what I did. I play a lot of Capcom games and I play a lot of survival horror games and I kind of like uh, I've gotten addicted to filling in all these gaps of survival, like obscure, awful survival horror games. Um, I don't know if this fits in that camp, but uh, I, I realized I never played Dino Crisis 2, and I think it goes away from some of the survival horror roots of the original game, and it's sh pretty short, and uh, that was a weird move for, for Capcom, and I like dinosaurs like a lot. Yeah, um, dinosaur. Yeah, you know, so we got Trespasser, and we also got uh, Dino Crisis 2 for the Super Replay Showdown. Different game than Crash Bandicoot from last year, but uh, that is my choice.
one. It is going to be Kyle versus Kim. In the free-for-all three-way death match, it's going to be Dan, Ben Reeves, and Brian. That's also in week one. And then in week two, it is going to be Joe versus Reiner. So then the second death pit is going to be Jeff Cork, Tim Turry, and Jeff Oh, you seem surprisingly comfortable in a death pit. I'm just hoping one Jeff wins. There we go. That's it, everybody. Well done. You're the best man. That's great. Sorry, Kim. Super fun. Is that the DS? This is the one game that I talked to him, and he's like, no, you can't pick Yeah, yeah. I gave him mine right away. So, but I never. It's one of those ones. You're both going to consider me for cast. But if I win, you guys, I've been really wanting to play that game. I played it. Actually, almost tried it. I considered it a proxy. Like it was on my short list. There's no way Delco would ever get on a super replay, so I have to fight for myself. Because if you're not, if you're doing it pure, if you're not going like emulators. I'm going to do it on the. Yeah, yeah, it's good.